What up everybody in the upcoming episode of Raising Canaan episode 205 we're gonna see record producer Crown Camacho flash a gun and even maybe pull a gun on Lulu so let's get into their relationship and how they got into their present beef to now we're going to see maybe one of these characters die in the next episode you don't know what's going to happen this is going to be a heated moment so we're going to get into the predictions here in a moment in a minute but let's get into how they um let's get into how these two people got into where they're in now so crown was in- introduced um as one of lulu's customers in season one of raising canaan um he was buying that powder from lulu large amounts of it too he wasn't getting no small batches this is he was getting big old bags of that stuff and um so he has has money but he had his habits calls had him having also got him into some financial issues and Lulu started hanging out at the studio I guess maybe because Crown was spending so much money maybe because he was interested in the music or both whatever maybe a combination of both but he spent more time at the studio and his girlfriend at the time Jessica's brother famous was also getting into the music business so that was how they basically got their relationship started and since Lou was paying for so much of the um, paying crowns workers he was um, paying for different things. Maybe he's even paying the rent for the studio. But he's paying for a lot. And um, he take he took ownership, 50-50 ownership of the record label Bulletproof Records. So he basically took that le- he took that label underhanded somewhat. I mean, yeah, he was helping out a lot, but Crown was basically forced to give up 50% of his record label because he definitely didn't have the ability to pay Lou back and on the other hand he 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 don't necessarily know exactly what type of dude Lou is but he knows enough about him to know he don't want to mess with him so he went ahead and agreed to letting Lou take 50% ownership of Bulletproof records so that's basically the sum up of how season one went they had a show um i think the end up getting like ran into but they they did um because of morale and scrappy about to kill lou but anyway they had some success in season one with their record label season two they started to really hit i mean they still haven't made any money that's why rock always asking lou uh, how much money has this business made how record label made and he keeps telling her it's a startup business it hasn't made anything yet so they're really still just trying to figure things out <clears throat> on the business end of that record label but nonetheless Lou is 50% owner now. He took that thing from Crown kind of underhanded. And we've done seen him slipping ever since he's taken ownership of this record label. His relationship with Rock is definitely, he's not the favorite brother anymore of Rock. That's definitely Marvin now in, C- in season two. And his, he has lost, he's actually lost respect in the sight of Crown Camacho as taken owner of the because now crown camacho um basically sees him as a partner and says someone he respected as basically he's buying his drugs from so he kind of now he's lost a little bit but definitely don't they're not his friends like they were whatever they were before they they had a good relationship when they, they started off and um 
definitely don't have that kind of relationship now. Then if you go into season two and you found out that um, Crown is having relationships with Lou's girl, Jessica. And on top of that, he sends her to L.A. Now, Lou doesn't know about Crown and Jessica's relationship. He hasn't found that out yet. And I don't know if he will find that out. We don't know what's going to happen moving forward with this. But nonetheless, they had he Crown had a relationship with Lou's girl and then sent her to LA. And he does and Lou does know that Crown sent Jessica Tell to LA. Moving forward after that, they've had several disagreements in the studio um, regarding everything they don't agree with too much of anything on almost all the artists Uh, they're always clashing so because of the clashing and everything that's been going on crown then approaches rock but rock had just had her stash stolen by unique and she did not have really time to deal with crown at at that particular time so now we go into the final episode and things got hit an all time high between these two when Crown Lou finds out Crown has sold the mixing board to take care of some expenses and for, I don't know why he did that because Lou is always um, paying for everything I guess is because maybe he wasn't getting his getting his money I don't know what it was for maybe he had to pay for his drug habit I honestly don't know why he had to pay for why he couldn't ask Lou for the money for the mix board maybe it was a power trip he's trying to pull a power move on him that could very well be it it could be just a power move Uh, he took the mixing board and Lou slammed him up against the wall knocked his cereal on the ground and then Lou got the new mixing board from your boy um raising Kane and Shug Knight man I can't think of the name off the top of my head man I mean if I forgot something in here in between if I forget the people's name forgive me man I just smoke too much to remember every detail of every show at every point of the day and I don't got the time to go and um watch these shows over and over again on repeat I watch them a couple times maybe two, two times for sure maybe three if it's a really good one or if I go back and watch it late watch the entire season later on just for leisure but I'm, I don't got time to watch them back to back to back to back like that man sorry so if I forgot the boy's name the should Knight type dude who owns the art gallery he got the board from that guy man yeah, but now we're going to see the scene where Crown Camacho flashes the gun at Lou. And Lou tells him, "You, if you're going to, um, don't pull that if you ain't scared to use it. And, Lou, and Crown pulls it. We do see Crown pull the gun. And we're going to see what happens after this. So what could happen? It could be a situation like... Crown kills Lou. Lou could take the gun and kill Crown. Or do y'all remember power? This is more what I think is going to happen. Do y'all remember? But then again, I think this Crown's a stronger character than Sean. Y'all remember Sean was supposed to kill Ghost. And he had the gun to... He had the gun to Ghost back. Walked him over there, but didn't have the guts to finally pull the trigger and go ghost took the gun from him and pulled the gun on him himself but ghost didn't kill sean because he just wasn't going to do that because he knew sean wasn't but he was basically innocent and kanan put him up to doing it so you might just see a scene like this where lou takes the gun from crown and that would be if it's if I'm making a prediction on what's gonna happen with this scene, that's gonna be what's gonna happen. I'm gonna predict that my prediction could go any way. Could go up, it could go down. Luke could get killed, Crown could get killed. But my prediction with this scene 
is something's gonna happen because we see he pulls the gun that Lou is gonna take that gun and pull it back and, and put it back on crown but he's gonna have mercy on him like Ghost did on Sean it's a similar situation because y'all remember um, Sean was messing with Tasha too so oh uh, yeah Sean was messing with Tasha too Crown messed with Lou's girl Sean was more about basketball he wasn't about that street life Crown he about the music industry he ain't about that street life so this is a similar situation that's my prediction what's going to happen here it could go up it could go down it could ruin their relationship with what's going to happen with their record label moving forward I don't think the record ministry going to happen for anybody in this show. I definitely know that ain't happened for Jukebox. Because we know what happens with her life. Alright. Holla at y'all.